world of conflict and sin, and let's face it, that's the world you and I step into every morning when we roll out of bed, anger is a fact of life. We're going to do things that rub other people the wrong way, and they're going to get angry with us. And they're going to do things that rub us the wrong way, and we're going to get angry with them. So here's a question for you. Is anger a sin or not? I guess most of us would say, yes, it is. And yet even God gets angry and there's no sin in him. So now, what do you do with this anger thing? Is it right or is it wrong? It's not that obvious anymore, is it? Ephesians chapter 4, verses 26 and 31. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander together with all malice. What does that actually mean? How's that meant to work in your life and in mine? Well, sometimes anger is a natural response to conflict. In fact, at its most basic level, when you think about it, it's a built-in protection measure that we all have. The problem is that in this fast-moving, high-pressure, always-connected world that we live in, for many people, their anger is set on a hair trigger. Bang! And it goes off at the slightest provocation. You see it all the time, don't you? But in sharp contrast to that, God is slow to anger. And, and the more we become like him, the more slowly we anger as well. Of course, we all have a boiling point. God does, you do, and, and I do. Pushed hard enough, we'll get angry. So the trick with anger is threefold. Firstly, it's about learning to be slow to anger, just like God. And cutting people some slack, uh, understanding where they're coming from and, and why they're behaving the way they are compensating for their weaknesses, forgiving them ahead of time. It's a good thing, a very good thing, to be slow to anger. Secondly, when we are pushed to that point of anger, not to say or to do things that we'll regret. Don't hurl insults that you can't take back. Don't hurl the crockery either, just quietly. And thirdly, don't let anger fester in your heart. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. The greatest disease that you can have comes from harboring unforgiveness in your heart. It's, it's like a cancer. It destroys us. It destroys our relationships. Be slow to anger and quick to forgive. That's God's word. Fresh for you today. <laughs>